Hello everybody, it's Van Berman here. Welcome back to my RPG Maker VXA tutorial. Um, it's just a follow-on from the side view battle system with the ATB uh, system as well. And I don't know what's gone on really with the script that I was trying to insert, but it doesn't work. <laughs> and the way I actually got it to work was to take the script out of my game's script and put it into this one. So for whatever reason, the script that I've, the scripts that have been, they're on the web and aren't working, or aren't working when they're pasted in. For whatever reason, I think something is making them not work. I don't know where in it it's not making it work, but some part is making it incompatible. Uh, so I just took the one out of my game, copy and pasted it into this new one, which is here. And what I'm going to do is, you know, I shouldn't really. I'm going to put it in the description of this video, so you can copy. You can take it from there, uh, but or put it in the comments or something. Um, but you need. I will also give you a link to the guy who's made its blog, so you can sufficiently credit him for it, because uh, it's not my work, of course. So we'll quickly go and do a battle test, and you can see how it works. Um, so here it is here, and basically the ATB fills up at the bottom. You can make changes to it as well. And then, as it's filled up, you then get your chance to make an attack. Pretty simple, really. And, yeah, that was about it. <laughs> so it's just a copy, another copy and paste job in there. Make sure it's positioned just underneath the two main engines, which you'll probably only just be able to see on there. Um... And, yeah, that's about it, really. Um, so, thank you very much for watching. Sorry about the mess up in the last one. It should have just worked as simple as it's just done there. Uh, but for whatever reason, it's not. And there's not much I can do about that, really. Um, but thank you very much for watching. And if you have any requests, then feel free to inbox me or put them in the comments. And I'm happy to try and help if I can. We'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye.